Hello, 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 and welcome back to Super Nintendo Bro Plays Monster Train. We're going to dive right back in. We had a little bit of a a better run last time, I guess you could say. We definitely um, we got it past the first boss, so that was definitely better than anything. Um, so, I think we decided that the Umbra and the Awoken are a good, a good, like, culmination together. A good, uh, you know, like salt and pepper, or like, you know... Pineapple and pizza. Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? You see? Pineapple and pizza? It's great. It's great. You should eat it. But anyways, that's off topic. But I think that they work really well together. They complement each other well. So let's try and get the win with that. I think that that's probably our best bet for getting the win. So let's dive in here. Okay. So Rage 2 and Ember Drain. I, I don't like the Rage, but I, I am swayed with the Life Steal. Sting Spells. These are free 5 damage spells to the front enemy unit and draw one extra card. And then apply a damage shield uh, 1 to friendly units. Add 3 uncommon morsels or rare morsels to your hand. So this is interesting if we can make this cheaper. And then I think, yep, sap is going to be what the main boss has. So let's dive in. We're going to get going. We're going to look at our artifacts here first. So let's see. Uh, gain 7 energy on the first turn of battle. Oh, that's really good. Or the friendly unit is healed. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the amount healed. Let's do the 7 energy right away. That will let us play a lot, especially if we can get some draw going on. So Trample, but making him real big, or Gorge, making him real real hefty. Let's make him real hefty. We want him to, to eat all that stuff and then be incredible. And yep, we will turn this on because we can get an extra unit. That is not a question. The last time we didn't even take any damage on this... Uh, but this time we probably will because these guys are going to have some armor. So, I think that maybe... Let's play let's play it up here. Let's play him up here. And then we'll put... I don't know. Let's put a train steward on the second floor. Let's make this floor a little free. Do a little bit of damage. And let's end the turn. Okay, so we wasted a bunch of energy, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But, hey, there's worse things that could happen. Uh, let's see. we got a sting spell. You're going to kill him anyways. Uh, let's play this, though, and we'll get a new morsel. So, getting a morsel, this is actually going to give us two energy, which means we could play just about everything we have at that point. Uh, so, why don't we do that? Get, go ahead and get the Rage 2. We got another Sting spell here. <laughs> let's do Sting here, and then, what do you think? Add maybe a Regen to that. And I guess one of, one of these little train stewards down here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let him do that. What did he eat? I didn't see what he ate. Does that does that make? I don't know. Does that make a morsel? I don't know. He ate something though. He ate something. Okay, so the gym trove is not really going to be good for us at this point, unfortunately. But we can make some little morsels here. And we can do this. And then make this guy real, real strong. And then, I mean, we could do this. This would let us gain two energy. We could play another train steward and maybe a heal. I mean, you know what? Why not? Why not? Add you there. Add a heal there. You're not going to die now. We're going to do a bunch of damage. And we iced you. Now you're going to eat a whole bunch of those guys. Okay. So not, not a horrible thing. You're going to get sliced. Slice down by one. Okay, so we got a free damage here. Hmm. Let's do that so you can ice him for sure. And then, I mean, this is free, so we might as well do that. That's just more damage for us. We got two energy here. Why don't we add it to you, and we'll get a little bit more, and we'll go from there. Alright, so the little arrow dude is going to make it up, and we are going to lose this bottom floor. But that's okay. We didn't think that it was going to last that long anyways. And let's see, we get, if we can keep playing that, I mean, we're just going to keep getting cards. And then I guess we'll just play two morsels. See what we get here. We got life steal. Oh, we got two life steals. So that's actually, that's great. Make him real, real strong. The unfortunate thing is that he's not... Oh, he is going to die. So that's even better. And we'll just do that. 
and let him ding away. The life steal, I do have to say, is super good. The rage is not, but life steal, having life steal is super good. So I think if we can get something with life steal, it's definitely worth getting. Okay, so the space prism is great. Let's see, we do three damage, and we can add two more rare morsels to our hand if we kill somebody. Uh, we did have this, and we upgraded it, which was really good. Mind collapse, three x damage to enemy units if we slay somebody. Uh, then we do uh, we get two energy. Again, the, the, that's interesting, but I, the capacity the capacity is very important on this. And then let's see, do we have do we have heals? We have one heal. We got one heal, so we definitely healing is healing is definitely something we want to look towards. And then wilted sapwood revenge gain one energy. So every time he gets hit, he gains energy. Um, yeah, he that makes him awesome, and it, that lets us use that ember drain really really well. Okay, so how do we want to play this? Um, let let's upgrade spells first. Let's upgrade spells first because if we can get this. Okay, double stack, double stacking is super good double stack two damage shield mmm I mean there's something to say about that double stack and four ember drain is horrible though okay unfortunately I don't think we want to do that but we do want to make something cheaper so let's make that cheaper and what about this what is this gonna do 20 I mean that might that might actually be worth it. Let's try that. Let's try that, and then let's re-roll. And we did get another one of these, so that making this even better. That's a good. That's a good call. And then plus twenty magic power with a consume. I mean, doing doing twenty five damage is really good, though. Yeah, let's do it. That will even out our deck just a little bit. Is there is there something we want to get rid of here? <laughs> Maybe a train steward. I mean, I really don't know if these are that good, but having this guy... Yeah, let's get rid of a train steward. Let's thin the deck a little bit. There we go. And let's go to the next boss. There's so much thought that has to go into these guys. So non-boss enemies are getting plus four attack. Hmm. You know what? I don't think we do that. It, it could be good. But do we really want to? Do we really want to risk it? I mean, do we really want to? Hmm. So maybe putting him on the first floor like that is actually a great idea. Then we pop him up here. Use both of these. Oh, this is gonna let us gain so much energy and buff him so much. Okay, so we're gonna get quite a bit of energy from this. Alright. And we got a sting spell. So I mean I do think doing that is a great idea. Uh, let's upgrade the capacity for free. And let's apply a damage shield. Is that what we want to do? You're not gonna die, are you? No, you're not? Okay. Let's apply a damage shield. We'll get a whole bunch of these little morsel dudes. Which actually are this is gonna make him so sick. And let's see. Doing that, that's quite a bit of damage. I mean, he's in, they're encanting. So let's just, we'll just let him have his fun. These guys might, are probably going to get up to our pyre and do a little bit of damage. But we're getting so much energy back that it's going to, yeah, it, it's worth it. Um, let's see, you've got, you're going to die. I mean, I guess we can put both of these guys up here. Maybe add, what do you think, add this? Yeah, I mean, that's making you a little bit stronger. Whatever. But let's restore some health on you, and then go from there. Okay, so he, they are going to make it up to the top, but we're getting rid of the small guys. One hit, they're dead. And we will kill all of them. And let's see. Do you have... He's got, he's got sweep. That's naughty. I don't like that. Naughty, that sounded gross. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I said that. Uh, yeah, let's do an Ember Drain here because we're gonna we're gonna have a ridiculous amount of 
a ridiculous amount of energy after all this. And we'll do that. You're hitting five, so let's just put you behind here, do a little bit more damage. We're only doing 15 damage to you, which is not great. Actually, we probably should have done the sting up at the top. We could have gotten more out of it by killing those guys at the top floor. But we're going to have a ridiculous amount of energy from this, so there is that. A ridiculous amount of energy. Unfortunately, this isn't going to really do a whole lot for us, because you'll kill all these guys in one hit. Okay, so let's restore, restore. Let's take all you guys up here to the top. And buff you up. I guess we'll do a Morsel Maker up here as well. Oh, no, we can't. You got you got one damage shield. You, you're going to still die, but, you know. Okay, let's see how this plays out. He ate a bunch of guys. They're going to do a bunch of damage. He's getting a little bit of regen, and we almost killed him. Okay, so that, not horrible. It wasn't a horrible play. That's not doing anything. Maybe doing that will do... Okay, that's a little bit of damage. I mean, I guess we would want to play that. I. There's not really a good reason to play some of this. Play that as well. I mean, these are just all gonna, they're, these are all gonna die. So we're just playing them for no reason at this point. But one, only one hit with our pyre. We definitely need some stronger guys. We've got a good tank unit, but for a sweep, a sweep enemy is really, I think, kind of what did us in. It's a good thing we didn't let do somebody that had a little bit more oomph to them. Consume and apply damage shield. Uh, I think capacity is still where we want to go with this. Um, maybe a steel enhancer. That that's that's a hard sell, but it's still better than nothing. Okay, so do we want to upgrade, or do we want to copy something? We could copy a space prism. That would be great. A whittling sapwood would be good, interesting too to copy. But we do. Do we have spells that we really want to upgrade? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if we could get rid of the consume on the space prisms, that'd be really nice. I think we go this way. I think we let's do a duplicate of the wilting sapwood. Get some more pyre health, and let's see what's down here in the caverns. Do 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 do. -do. What do we got? Okay, so the ember deposits. We got some protrusion, and why don't we take? Plus one energy per, per turn per blight. Oh. I mean, this actually wouldn't be bad. Because we would have to play this every once in a while, but it would give us more energy. Hmm. And you know what? Let's do that. Let's try this. I, we didn't, didn't try this before. Especially if we can, like, you know, game it a gamify it a little bit. Okay, so first boss. And he's got double barrel, of course, unfortunately. Double barrel is just, like, it's just the worst. It's just the absolute worst. And, of course, you're going to put him right there. 30. Yeah, man, these guys are just ridiculously strong for no reason. Okay, let's put you up here. And let's put... A sapwood and do a shape shift a morsel and we'll go ahead and do that for giggles I guess and pop you behind and just let you play out there yeah, these guys are just ridiculously strong for no reason And I think, yeah, he's going to die, unfortunately. Let's put you there. Is that going to stop that? That is. And let's see. Let's do a space prism up here at the top. Ice one of you. And go from there. So this is going to give us a ridiculous amount of, of energy, which is what we want. But these guys having that much health, man, it just... 
it's kind of dumb how much health they have. And now he's going to die because of... Oh, man. And there really... There's nothing we can do. I, I, unfortunately, I think that we are going to... We are going to die on this run. I mean, maybe if we can... What, put you here? Is that... Okay, that that's at least going to save us. And we can pop you behind. That's going to give you a little bit of life steal. What, do a space prism and do this? That's going to give everybody a little bit of a damage shield. And then we can pop you guys back behind here. And we can't put you there. We can we put you on the we can put you on the bottom floor. So at least it was all for nothing, or it wasn't all for nothing. Mm. Yeah, that's a. This is not a good. This is not a good outcome for us. Not good at all. And now this oh, man, this guy back here has got haste. And we've got double barrel. All right, so these guys, I mean, I don't I don't know any way for us to help them. Maybe doing that. I mean, but this is... I mean, I think we just, we just play what we got. We just play what we got and go from there. This is... We just don't have enough strong units to really do. I think this one's pretty locked. I think we can kind of see the writing on the wall here. We got all of these guys up at the at the top, and I we don't have any other. Yeah, I don't have any other guys. He's gonna do a le get eleven damage done to him. I mean, we can enhance him, I guess. I mean, I think the smart play is to put him there. Let's enhance the back guy because he's he's definitely the one that's that's doing the most for us. What do we have here? Gain three energy. I think we play this. See what else we can get. A damage shield. And that's worth well, that's worth taking. And let's pop one more up there. And we can do that. Get some energy drain done. And I guess do a heal for no reason. And we'll pop those two morsels back into the deck. So I mean, really, our play is to make him so strong that he can just basically one shot the boss, or at least get him down to the point the point that he'll survive. And I. I really don't see where that's going to happen. We can play that. I mean, I think we just play what we have. A region and doing that. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. This one's good. This is a hard sell. Hmm. Especially with no energy now on this turn. I mean, there's nothing we can do on this turn. You're just going to drop down some of our rage, which is in turn kind of hurting us. And now we only we only have one. I mean, we definitely want to do that. Okay, that's one energy at least. I think we do this. What do we what do we got? We got some health. I mean, that was that's a lot of damage, but I, I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough. Hmm. That's unfortunate. That's a really... Like, I keep saying unfortunate, but it really is. Like, we're so close to just hitting the pinnacle on these on these guys. And we just keep getting, like... We're just, we're just barely not there. We just need just a little bit more strength and a little bit more survivability. And I guess, like, upgrading guys would have probably done that for us. So, cave in... Descend friendly unit and enemy floor and enemy units on this floor. Okay. And then abandon abandon Umbra. Ant Umbra. Uh, at start of turn, add a common or uncommon morsel unit. So this would be really good. It would at least give us a morsel to play every time with our guy. I mean, he's just... He's gaining so much, but just not at a strong enough pace that it's really worth it, I think. Man, that's really, that's unfortunate. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out and playing. We did get one level on the Umbra unlocked, uh, but still no no win with them. We're still working on that win. I think next time we come back, maybe we'll, maybe we'll step away. We'll do like a, a Stygian Guard. Maybe we'll do a Stygian Guard and a, and a, a Hellborn. 
because we kind of know how they play. Maybe if we can step away from the Umbra for a while and then come back, we can look at it a little bit better. We do have an Awoken and Stygian Guard we could do as well. I don't know. I don't know. Hellhorn Awoke. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll probably play with Stygian Guard next time because we do like those. And then we'll come back with the Umbra and see, see if we can make something work. Get a little bit more confidence built up behind them. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw here, you want to pick up Monster Train for yourself, down in the description below, there will be a link to the Steam page. Go and pick it up for yourself. Play it. Probably one of my favorite games of this year. Um, if, not, if not my favorite game. I, I really, like, I play it a lot here for the channel, but I would like to play it actually more outside because I like it so much. Um, I'm just not doing that because we. I, I have an agreement with you that I'm going to do everything first with you. On this on this game so uh, if, like i said if you like what you saw go ahead pick it up at the steam steam page link in the description below if you like what you saw in the video uh, you have a comment um anything like that you can do so with the channel so hit the like button subscribe ding the bell you'll be notified each and every time that a video comes out uh, and let me know give me some give me some uh examples of things i can do to make the umbra a little bit better um i, I guess it's, it's just not clicking in my head i just don't know what I'm not getting so uh, maybe some advice that'd be that'd be great that'd be great so if you like what you saw like I said hit that like button you can subscribe each and every day monster train comes out at 10 a.m. central time and uh, golf with your friends comes out each and every day or a second our second channel um, show comes out each and every day at 2 p.m. central time so you can come back and see that each and every day which I said each time multiple times because I want you to realize each and every day we put videos out okay so, just like always, this is Super Nintendo Bro signing off, and I want you to have yourself a super day. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye!